Hi there, my name is Dr. Jennifer Arthur. I'm one of the oncologists at Southwest Veterinary Oncology. And today I just wanted to walk through a physical exam on a dog with you, show you important things to look for, um, lumps and bumps, things that might be of concern, um, just so that you can take care of your own dog at home. And then if you have any questions, you can go to your family vet, get them checked out, and um, keep them nice and healthy. This is Fezzik. And today what I would like to do is just run through a brief physical exam with you, show you how to check out your dog from stem to stern, make sure there's no abnormalities, anything that you need to see your family a vet about um, that would be of concern. So we're going to go ahead and start at the beginning. The nice thing about dogs is they're symmetrical. So with the exception of the nose and the tail, there's two of everything. So if anything concerns you and you think it looks abnormal, look on the other side of the dog and see if it's the same. So we're going to start with, with his nose. We're going to start up front and he has a massive head, so hopefully this will look good. All right, big guy, can you look? Okay, he's going to lay down, so we'll do this on our side, which is also acceptable. However they're comfortable is fine. What I want you to do first is look at their nostrils. Make sure that they don't have any discharge, any um, pink fleshy protrusions from there, that they have good airflow. After that, since you're at the front, we'll take a look at some impressive teeth here. What I would like you to do is just peel up their gums and just take a look inside. Familiarize yourself with it. Make sure that there's nothing that looks out of place, any lumps or bumps, anything that's bleeding or ulcerated or is a different color would be worth getting checked out. After you're done with the mouth and the head, have you take a look at the ears. Again, his are huge. Um, just look inside, make sure you don't see anything. Check all around the base. Sometimes in the folds of their neck, you can miss things. So just give them a good feel. They'll think you're petting him. The other thing that you can look for, and we'll go through the rest of the exam in a moment, but you can also look for lymph nodes. And in dogs, the primary lymph nodes, there's a set right here under the jaw, right at the angle of the jaw, and then right in front of the shoulders, behind the elbows here, then in the kind of crotch of the leg, up, up in the, the private area, and then right behind their knees. So if you should ever feel masses in those areas, that's especially important to have your family vet check. If you move down his body, just make sure you move the collar, make sure you feel up everything. And again, we're just looking for lumps and bumps, anything that's asymmetrical, anything that's of concern. And you'll wanna look between their toes. And a lot of times they don't like that, but <laughs> make sure you check out their paws and get those big digits. Make sure everything is kosher there. Then as you move back, they'll probably roll over and give you your belly, which is just fine. So just rub them along their belly. Make sure you don't feel any lumps or bumps. Just go over the whole body. Now, Fezzik here had surgery for a bad leg, so he's got a big scar here, and he's got a little loss of muscle mass. So he looks a little different on one side than the other. You'll also want to make sure you check out the tail and lift up the tail, look underneath it at the tail base and the anus. Again, just making sure you don't have any discharge, any lumps or bumps or anything of concern. The exam should take a minute or two. Um, I usually recommend you do it at least once a week. I know you pet your dogs all the time, but make sure you do a good exam once a week. If anything concerns you, there's any lumps or bumps that you find, just contact your family veterinarian. They will check it out for you, let you know if it's something of concern or if it's something you can just monitor over time. Mm -hmm.